I have to be careful. Pulling out of my yard, there's a, a feral cat who's had kittens. Now if we can catch the feral cat and get her fixed. So we can keep her from having kittens, that would be a cool thing. Sorry, I like saying petrol. It's so much more fun than saying gasoline. I'm just saying. I love the way the Brits say lorry for truck and, you know, process instead of process. Uh, some other words I like. Yeah, Canadians also say process instead of process. Water. Water. Yeah. I just love other cultures. I know. Things are not that far removed from us. I mean, I've been to Belize and Honduras and Costa Rica and, it's, and the Bahamas. And granted, the Bahamas was a tourist location. So, they you don't know, purposely keep you away from the poor side of the island, which unfortunately is quite large in the Bahamas. So, that's disappointing. Okay, all right. Uh, last time that pump didn't work. They updated the software on this gas pumps here. I know, my new gas station's not open yet. I'm waiting for it. It needs to hurry up and open. But they updated the firmware on the gas pumps and now the buttons do not match the software. That'd just be crazy. I know, I left you running. It's not very interesting to be pumping gas. So I had to go inside. She tells me to get new gas pumps. It will not even matter once that place over there opens. I'm just saying. Once the new gas station opens, I will not be darkening their doors anymore. Probably. So I had fun, I had a, did a guest appearance on Creative Amplifiers. That was cool, I enjoyed that. Um, love this show. Uh, Mark and Lisa and Neil are awesome people. They've been on my show before. Uh, if, if you're into kind of just hanging out and kind of Ecamm fam and, you know, just a, you know, just kind of hanging out and talking about content creation just a little bit, or kind of what you're up to, and it's it's really a good creator spotlight. You know, hey, what are you doing? And they talk about, and it's an interview show, and they ask questions and stuff, and it's creative amplifier. So I, I'd say follow that show, follow that channel. Uh, they just finished their season, had their eleventh episode of season one. And they're getting ready to plan season. They're planning season two. 
uh, it was a lot of fun being on their show when I was on their show, and it was a blast when they were on my show, even though we had some internet challenges. That was fun. Uh, but I think the final product was good. Those guys are awesome. I like it. Neil met him at Creator Camp. I met all of them at Creator Camp, but um, I hung out with Neil more because Neil was helpful because I had um, I needed to store my suitcase one day uh, because I had checked out of my room and he let me just store my suitcase in his room until I was, it was time for me to depart. So that was helpful. Very helpful. Somebody who didn't even know me, so really. Baby girl has been fussy the past few days. Um, yeah, tummy troubles. I don't know. When I say baby girl, I'm talking about uh, my granddaughter. Luckily, my youngest daughter has been better this last week and this week. So, let's go school's over. So, now she can go back into her isolationist booth. I've had enough caffeine. Probably too much. Maybe that's why I can't. Basically, it's uh, a mastermind group where you get together and we kind of talk about content creation. And we get on Zoom and we have this have these conversations and talk about what we do and, and all that fun stuff. So it's a lot of fun. We brainstorm new ideas and stuff. And so I really enjoy that. That is so much fun. Um, they are, yeah, really good. Good stuff. I, um, really love hanging out with these folks. And I like hanging out with smart people. So, I think everybody should have a group that they hang out with and brainstorm ideas and talk about the challenges that they're having. You know, and it could be, it's a small group from church. It could be colleagues from work, it could be, you know, your creative, other creative people who are doing things that are similar to you, not necessarily the same niche or niche, but, you know, I really enjoy conversations, and they're private, I don't post these online, these are just a Zoom group, and we talk, and it's, yeah, so that's what we do. Everybody needs a friend group. You know, it's kind of weird. We kind of isolate ourselves, and it's not good for you. We're not we're not meant to be alone. We're meant to be in relationship with others. And I'm not talking just romantic relationships. I am talking about friends, the kind of people that you can tell anything to. I'm going through this. This is a hard time. You wouldn't believe what's happened to me. You know, I know in some ways, this, you guys watching this, are my friend group. Um, because you hear what I'm talking about and what I got going on. And so I'll tell you about my parents and I'll tell you about my kids and content creation. Content creation things that are going on in my head thoughts that I'm having it's I'm really you know this is like my journal I don't do a vlog I call it a vlog because it's video but it's really a journal I'm I am putting the video what I would write down 
if I weren't doing a real video. And I couldn't consistently do writing it down. I don't know why, but I can consistently record these videos. And I really enjoy these. So, anyway, ow. My ear is itching. Thank you so much for listening to me. I, I really appreciate it. I hope that, um, I hope you had a great day. And, uh,